the start to the trip that we'd hoped. We left at five o'clock in the morning and a couple of hours later came around a corner and uh, I saw the tread come off our tyre. So we managed to get the trailer off enough to sort of safely work on it, um, put the spare on which we'd not used before, it was pretty flat and the jack didn't have the stroke that we needed so I had to use the stabiliser legs to reposition it. But anyway, a bit of mucking around and we were back on the road fairly quickly. Good morning, welcome to Shark Bay. So we got here uh, yesterday, absolutely a massive day left at five o'clock in the morning, wake uh, both kids up. And we didn't get here till about 3.30 or something in the afternoon, thanks to a uh, blown tire. But anyway, it was a, a good day. So we were supposed to be up here on Thursday, um, about four days ago, but Oliver got made a close contact, so we had to delay our travels, which was a bit of a pain. But anyway, we're here. So there's a few of us, um, mum and dad are behind us and some other family have got a little house around the corner. Say hello, babe. Hi. Are you enjoying your, uh, your first night at Shark Bay? No, you look, no. You look I'm dead. Tired. <laughs> yeah, so we're just gonna have a crazy day today. We'll head out to Big Lagoon or somewhere, um, find somewhere nice. The weather's forecast not to be so great, but, I don't know how reliable their forecast is because it's glassy at the moment. Another breath of wind. Anyway, welcome to Shark Bay. So this is our first trip using the uh, lithium batteries. And we bought a invert uh, <coughs> induction cooktop for 100 bucks, a Westinghouse one. We're using uh, just that this trip for now, as long as we don't run out of batteries. So sitting at uh, 2,000 watts, boiling some water for our dishes uh, pulling 125 amps so I've got um, 600 water panels that are going to go on the roof of this camper when I get back to Perth and get some time for now we're just running a, a 120 on the roof and I've got a 200 watt solar blanket and a 180 watt portable unit so we'll see how we go, whether we have enough uh, battery capacity to run. I think it'll be fine, as long as it's not cloudy. 340 amp hour of lithiums. Um, I don't know, it's all just a bit of a muck around at the moment. We don't have any uh, issues with using gas, but induction is a lot quicker and also when it's windy, much nicer. So let's see what happens. We're just cruising into France's parent. Little Lagoon is like five minutes out of town. We're gonna go and check out a big lagoon. Um, this Actually, it's not Francis Perrin, is it? It's Francois Perrin or something. Beautiful place. We've been here a couple of times. Um, yeah, magic red sand dunes and all that. Lots and lots of fun. Definitely recommend it. Um, significantly better than Monkey Mire. But anyway, we're going to go there too. So check that out. The guys have gone out fishing in the boats. They did okay yesterday. See what they do today. I wasn't uh, motivated already this morning. So go tomorrow but anyway Let's find the sign. What does the sign say? Can you read any of the words? Say, Emu! It says, Welcome to Big Lagoon. Big Lagoon. 
So these are the amenities at the picnic area of Big Lagoon. They've done a pretty awesome job. And then uh, a yeah, nice beach just there and all the campgrounds over that way. Quite a few spots. We'll go for a spin through there and have a look after this. But I mean, you can't ask for much of a nicer spot than this. So 10 kilometers of average road and the rest of it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, if you had a reasonably well-built van, you'd be fine. So barbecues and nice lookout area. That's a good spot for stand-up paddleboarding. What do you reckon? Not bad. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. I've done a good job. Yeah, it's good. campsites and then uh, you know, 10k's back out to the main road and uh, not much further back to the artesian hot star hot pool whatever you want to call it which we'll probably check out shortly and uh, it's probably about 45 50 k's from here to the top Cape Parent which is a beautiful spot but it's pretty uh, you need to let your tires down Street, aka Francis Perrin, Francois. 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 I don't know. Um, we go that way. Marriage. Alright, so this is the homestead. All those cars over there are at the inflation and deflation area which they've done an awesome job of but I don't know we must have just driven past about 30 cars and you could hardly get through so I need a bit more room over there or something or people park a bit better but anyway look in here you guys I want you to tell me everything that you see. Ollie, have you looked at us over here? Look at the birds. Yeah, I see all these. What's in here? What's in there? 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 Hop in. It's not very hot. It is, is it hot? It will be hot. Oh yeah. Ah. Huh? Ooh. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? <laughs> oh, oh. Dude, it's cold. <laughs> Mum, we found that the bottom. So we jagged the timing. Nobody else is here. We've got the whole place to ourselves. So this is a, it's an artesian hot spring. Um, the hot water comes in here, which is, I don't know, almost too hot to touch. And it's pretty warm in here. But it's nice, very, very good. It's actually really nice. Oh, yeah. Woo -hoo. How hot do you reckon it'll be? I don't know, it probably says over there. There's probably a sign that tells you. It would have to be, there you go, 40 degrees is what the sign says. Check out Little Lagoon. 
So it's pretty windy back in town and we drove past this this morning and thought it looked quite protected. It's not bad. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. And then that little creek going that way is little Lagoon Creek, I think, it goes out to the ocean. So absolutely magic. And you can fish here apparently, whiting and flathead and that. What a spot. And it's only five minutes out of town. Perfect is this, hey? Is it perfect, Cooper? <laughs> you gonna stand on it, Coops? You go on, Ollie. Surf, go on. <laughs> Doing down. Show me your new contraption. So we pick this manual uh, washing machine up. We'll see how it works. How much was it? Seventy bucks. Spin it, babe. Is it easy? Yeah. Does it work well? I don't know. So what have you got in there? Clothes. Yeah, how much? Don't ask me how much. I just put as much as would fit in the water. So, we're enjoying this uh, induction cooktop. Just pouring some water for the, the dishes. So this is this morning. So that's about as low as it'll go. Uh, so 104 amp hour consumed. So we've just got to replenish that. And we're sitting at 68%, which is effectively we can run down to zero. So 100 amp hour in solar today, six hours, 15, 18 amps, easy. It'll pump it in. Pretty impressed actually. Welcome to Eagle Bluff. So there's a little track that we hadn't done before that uh, goes around the corner. It's blowing an absolute gale. We're going to do this boardwalk over here. You can see uh, greys and sharks and all sorts of stuff down that way. Yeah, pretty magic. Nice spot. Where are we at, Ollie? Eagle Bluff, isn't it? Site. You can drive straight down onto the beach, although there's not much beach. Lots of uh, little bays to pull off and camp. And despite the fact that it's blowing an absolute gale, it's not too bad just here. So these are they're low cost camps. I don't know how much they are a night. 15 or 20? Yeah, not, not that expensive. Anyway, it's actually not bad. So Sneaky Sarah saw a trap just before Shell Beach 
that you can take. Um, so there's a fence line, obviously that's the private property and whatnot. But the main road is just there and there's a lookout. Um, so you can come down here and you get Shell Beach all to yourself. But, <laughs> so as I open the door it reeks. So I think there's um, some pretty feral <laughs> seaweed just up there. So now Sarah is saying, let's not stay here. Oh. So it's just a piece of seaweed uh, area that stinks, I think. When the wind blows around, you get a whiff. Otherwise, it's good as gold. But anyway, it's not a bad spot. We'll, um, we'll go and be a proper tourist now, and we'll go and check out Shell Beach. Just 500 meters that way. What's the matter, Bubba? Coops, what's the matter? Do you want to go to Shell Beach? No. Why not? You don't want the shells. Okay, well, you stay here. We're going to go have a little walk to the beach and then you'll come back and get you on the way back, okay? No. Are you going to come then? No, 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 no. Beautiful bay, you can camp here, um, another low cost camp, you've got to ring the Shire of Denham and uh, book it in or Shark Bay, whatever it is. Spectacular spot. And then you've got the other side of the peninsula just there in the main road. Very nice. Just because that is what he 
What do you think of my spot, babe? It's true, like we're never going to get back up. You're never going to get back up? There's a walk trail. It's never going to get up cleanly. It's going to be disgusting. Man, Sarah always do things that I definitely Sarah doesn't like my, my amazing spot that I found. Oh. Look at it. Be careful because there's another one that's hard, you can't see him. He's hiding out. What a beautiful spot. Sarah's coming around. She's realising that there is method in the madness. Such a nice creek. So it must be, I think it's filling back up to high tide. But you can stand up paddleboard down here. That'd be a lot of fun. Hey, listen, Ollie. Just stop and look at your legs from time to time. Sarah's got something amazing to tell you. Okay. Where are we? I don't know, and there's mozzies. There's the mozzies. Oh, I'm doing it. Why not? I don't like talking. I'm much better at it. Is this a nice spot, darling? Not bad. Do you retract your comments? No, not really, because I've still got to get up. Creepers? Yeah. Really? I'm young! I'm younger! I'm younger! I'm younger! I know what I'm doing! What do you know, Cooper? He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing, does he? He's young. I know what I'm doing. Don't get up there! What happened before? Did you run into the deep section? You guys could swim here if you wanted. Daddy could get your vest and he could play just here. Yeah, get our vest and stuff. Hey, Daddy, you want to go? Whoa, watch where you're going. Let's watch, just go slow. Wait for daddy to be ready to grab you. Because if you fall in there. Hi.
So I'm not looking down there. I just kind of look up. Uh -huh. Get me some squid, Aaron. Probably. Catch a squid. Oh, don't, let oh. go, don't let it go to the bottom. Oh, well, we well, that's what Aaron just did. Just did. Don't wind it up. Oh, I thought you said don't let it go to the yeah, bottom. You can feel it. So just, you can see where it is yeah, if you look down there. Got it. I don't look anywhere. Sure there's no seaweed on it. See, we hit the bottom. What did we catch? The squid gets on, right? Ollie? Ollie, what are you? Ollie. Ollie, do you like being on the boat? Are you alright? I'm okay. Just oh, looking. I'm amazed at how calm it is out here. Sitting down, I'm gonna crash into the boat, Coops. Look! Oh, oh, I hope you got that with an old dribbling down my chin. this one. 